right no so let's start uh, let's get this started right away we are looking at the uh, introduction to video editing and uh, that's what we'll be looking at right now introduction to video editing so we're going to look at practical tools uh we're going to look at uh, skills and uh, techniques you can use right now so let's uh make progress so these are what we are going to look at the skills that you can use the practical tools that you can engage right now to be a sought after video editor all right so to edit video it is uh very simple it is something that anyone can actually do all you need to do is to pay attention to some little details and once you can do that editing videos will not be an issue for you and uh, one rule i would like us to pay attention to in a editing video is that uh, we should not try to be perfectionist right you should not try to make sure that you you are perfect in everything that you do all you will try to do is to ensure that you follow the rules you do what is necessary and uh, you'll be fine so these are what you are going to learn these are the few things that you are going to learn uh, you are going to learn the best tools for beginners and pros and you're going to learn uh, core editing techniques and how to edit for different purposes then uh, finally we are going to be exploring uh, like a pro so let's move on now video editing tools overview now let's look at uh, beginner friendly tools that you can actually use you have u -Cut, you have cap uh, cap Cut, you have vn you have imovie you have uh, femora and lots of them all right so so we're going to focus on what i didn't even have here which is canva and maybe a little bit of uh, cap Cut. u -Cut, you can do it on mobile i feel u -Cut is the easiest that you can use in editing your video on a mobile is the easiest and the most flexible of all that i've used so i'm going to put uh the link to download u on the description of this video so that you can download a uh, u-cut on your either your uh android or your ios now if you want uh, after you become a beginner you can then graduate to intermediate so you can begin to use uh, adobe premiere pro or final uh, cut pro then you can advance to DaVinci Resolve, then After Effects and all that. So we're going to look at the practical with CapCut. Uh, and the official website of CapCut is CapCut.com. So we'll get something about CapCut very soon so that we can uh, explore that. Then inside the editing workspace, you have uh, key areas like timelines. Uh, you have preview wi window. You have a uh, media library and then effect panel. So for us to understand what this means, a workspace will jump at any of the editing suits right now for us to run a little practice, all right? So we're gonna do that. Um, cap cut on this system is quite heavy, but um, we'll try and see if we can uh, use a cap cut. Now this is cap cut, all right? Uh, you can see the interface we are talking about. This is the timeline. This are working space. This is where you can actually import anything in. And these are the tools that we use to actually do our editing. So this is not a pro, but it's just a normal uh, cap cut. So I can bring in uh, audio using this. I can bring in video media using this. So any of those things that we can bring in, we can use, we can import from here. Then we have AI media, we have AI avatar, where we have record. So I can actually click record as I record. So let's see if we can bring in a, a, a video into this place. Maybe a short, a very, very short video. Uh, where can we get video on this system? Video. All right. Um, okay, let's just try this. This is a very, very small little video. Let's bring it in here. Now, whatever you are bringing in here, it will be on this timeline. So you can drag it to this timeline and then begin to edit it right there. So, okay, this is our video. 
it's asking me to drag material here so I'm gonna this is a material that I want to work with like I said it's heavy it's quite heavy here CapCut is heavy on this interface you can see it's actually heavy with the entire system all right so here we go it's heavy so we might get out of here and come back but just for you to understand how the interface work you can see here you have the caption where you can actually run work with the caption here you can filter here you can adjust so we'll come back here to work with this video so uh, we if I click here the video is gonna play that's the video playing all right so I can bring my timeline anywhere here all right and I can do whatever I want if I want to cut I can right click for me to see the element that I have right here so we have all of them here so cap cut is heavy here so we're, we're, like I said we're gonna come back so that we can do our cutting so we have seen the key areas which are the, the timeline the preview window the media library and the effect panel so we've actually taken a look at that now in CapCut or uh, maybe we should just take a look at it again in another uh, video editing uh, panel or interface maybe we should do that that's uh, taking a look at it we're using Canva now so this is Canva So we are going to try to use Canva to edit a video or to, to, to create a video. So I'm going to click, click on create. So I want to work on a video so I'm going to come straight to video. it's giving me okay let's use uh, okay let's still use this mobile or story let's use story they are the same size so here is our Canva let's try to see if we can use Canva to trim so we can either bring a template here I can bring a template I can call it uh, uh, smiley man smiling video or okay, let's just say smiling video and you click on uh, search so we have uh, a few of them here so let's see the one that we can use is a video that we want not just an image as a video so maybe the first one we can get we can use that is this a video it doesn't look like a video to me it looks like an image so let's say just video okay these are videos right Okay, let's let's use this so this is the video that we have this is just 15 seconds video I still want to cut it and slice it into two even though it's 16 seconds so we can expand upon it to see the full video first let's play this video uh, we can play the video from here as a preview the entire video is playing it doesn't have a sound no sound so this is the entire video okay let's get out of it so if I want to cut the video 60 seconds I can click I can click here then uh, let's say I want to cut the video so just click here 60 seconds let me cut it into 5 and 10 so I click that so it's moving I think I'm good here. Cutting it to half here. So I can have auto trim. So I can trim this part out that's trimming. And I can click done. So 
the part that we train on do so we have a trim of 15 Point five seconds. It was 15 seconds before, but we have now 5.7 seconds. So we can expand upon it to get it back. We can get it back. So we can trim and we can cut. So we can get it back fully. So we can click on done. So now we we'll get our 15.6 back. <coughs> So what we can do is to we can increase the speed here. Now it's not going to be faster. It's not seven point. So we can reduce, remove it. It's not one minute plus. So that's what we have. One minute plus. So, so here it's not going to be very very slow. Let's see that. All right, it's quite slow now. But back here so we can also add transitions that's a we can add title and a text we can add music effect and coloration and uh, editing for different purpose we can edit for shots uh, social media tutorial documentary and advert then hands on activities so these activities we're going to do now explore, explore like a pro when you want to export whatever you have designed, you can use a MP4, which is universal, or you can use a MOV, or you can use a AVI. So resolution, most of the time we use 720p, which is more effective as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 1080p is also effective, but 4K, most systems cannot even handle 4K. So most uh, devices are not yet enabled to play 4K. Now, common mistake beginner makes, uh over using transition too much text bad audio forgetting to back up right then a quick recap uh we have tools we do we talk about tools workspace core skills purpose and exporting now activities challenge so you are going to help me uh, create a 30 second story then use phone clips hard one title hard one transition hard background sound so that's what you're going to be able to do and i will ask you to use uh, i will ask you to use u -Cut.